Right, all you absolute legends, what's up? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we are focusing on an Indianapolis Colts player. Indianapolis? That is right, Indianapolis. Try spelling it. Try saying it 10 times fast. I'll try three. Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indianapolis. Well, it's not too bad. Anyways, today we're focusing on a center. He doesn't move much. And the position of center to me, unfortunately, don't at me guys, and certainly no centers out there at me, because I'll be running in the opposite direction as fast as I can. But what I do like about the center is that he's involved in every single offensive snap. What I don't like about the center is the fact that they never seem to get the praise that they deserve. But there is one position on that football field, on the offensive side of the ball, that simply has to develop a relationship, that simply has to appreciate the work done by the center, and that's the running back. And believe it or not, we've got a running back on our screen right now, the Colts rookie running back, sensation, Jonathan Taylor. So let's continue, and before we do, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 5 star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45 day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels. YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob, use code Jacob for 10% off, and I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use, guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm gonna be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers guys, and enjoy the video. Now, if I can bring your attention to the screen, here he is now, rookie running back sensation for the Indianapolis Colts. Jonathan Taylor, one of my favorites, and damn, does he look good on this list of top 100 players. Hopefully he does make it. All of that and more will be revealed. But for now, let's continue. Someone from the Colts that you think should be on this list besides for Quinn? Definitely, I would say, so of course, Ryan Kelly. Oh, Riser. Oh, Keldog. Not to be confused with... R. Kelly. Do we say R. Kelly? Do we say Riser? I'm going to go with Ryan Kelly. He's so smart. He's so smart. <laughs> He's so smart. Smart. One of the smartest guys I know. What's your call? Tails. Your call is Tails. Your call is Tails. Having a good head on your shoulders won't help you with the toss. It is a tail you've won. But it will help you with the tablet. They know that they're, we're just going to continue to keep running zone on them. <laughs> and that's Quentin Nelson beside him, isn't it? Mr. Pancake Block. But you know what? When, uh, when I do hear a player has smarts, doesn't matter what position he plays, it does pique my interest. And it takes me back to when I attempted the Wonderlick test. Not once, but three times. And I'm not one to toot my own horn very often. But I did get a level 35. And I'm yet to see a current NFL player beat that. Hopefully, until now. Let's look him up. Ryan Kelly is 28 years of age. He was born in West Chester, Ohio. Six foot four, 307 pounds. Pick number 18 in the first round of the 2016 draft. He's been a cult his entire professional career. He ran a 40 yard dash at 140 kilograms of 5.03 seconds. That's moving. 4.59 on the 20 yard shuttle. 7.58 seconds on the three cone drill. A broad jump of eight foot seven inches. 
but a bench press of 26 reps. He's a classic centre. On May 4th, 2016, uh, he signed his rookie contract, a four-year $10.45 million contract. Uh, throughout the next four years, he played his little heart out. He secured his bag, as they all do, and on September 4th, 2020, the Colts signed Kelly to a four-year $50 million extension, making him the highest-paid centre in the NFL. $50 million. $50 million. And believe it or not, guys, I'm going to say one thing right here, right now. He deserves it. These guys, the shit that they put their bodies through week after week after week, season after season, they deserve it. If there's one thing in football that's guaranteed, you will get injured. You will get knocked down. You will have hurdles to overcome, but it's whether you can keep getting back up. And being over 300 pounds, I'm going to admit, it's not the easiest thing to keep getting back up, if we're talking in literal terms. But I tell you what, he's now got 50 million reasons to get back up. You can watch this one. Every time they read zone, yeah. the hoot I need to start playing outside. Let's go. Let's get this backside cut off. What's going on? It's a Do we just become best friends? It's job to know what's going on. Done do it better than Ryan Kelly. I mean, he's not going to go back here. No. But he can go right there. <laughs> and together with guard Quentin Nelson, the Colts have the best center guard combination in the league. Well, 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 I'll tell you what, Jonathan Taylor really would be happy. Imagine killing a 30 with Johnny Unitas. <laughs> There's only one thing a lineman likes crushing more than a beer. Look at that. Against a guy like Chris Jones, able to absorb that, that sort of player with that sort of power? <laughs> what happened there? Likes crushing more than a beer. I was ready for it though, I had him. And was that Nelson? Came Nelson came in to clean up the mess. That, thanks. <laughs> That's what the Jags need, I'm telling you. Let me look at that again. For the touchdown. I reckon this guy here, the defensive end, would probably have to be the one defender that you're worried about the most. Does he get through? No, no he doesn't, because there's a massive pile of Colts players in front of him. Could Hines have bounced out to the left? He is travelling out to the left, he decides to cut with his left foot 90 degrees straight up the field through this gap. But I'm going to say he sticks his left foot in the ground here, couple of steps, sticks his right foot in the ground here, and runs this route. Could have happened. What a great leader he is, and it totally makes sense why they're so deadly. Obviously we're focusing on what the line did. Which, I mean, they collapsed the line and, and took out at least half of the defenders. Be a center. Huh. They did their job. Uh, I will never be a center. We go against each other every Thursday for five plays, and as a defense, you try and disguise absolutely everything you can, and he's calling out everything. He's always thinking one step ahead of the person in front of him. Kind of like the general. He's looking at safety rotation. He's looking at linebacker depth. You don't need to go all the way to 20, though. And we got to go. Yeah. Doing the things that your quarterback should be doing, and he's doing them at such a rapid pace. Sometimes he might even get a call out before Phillip would even get a call out. Let me back up, Ryan. His processing time is second to none. Kelly has snapped to four different quarterbacks the past three seasons. That's a great pickup. Great pickup on that saw. Three drops. Y'all kept going. The Colts will start their fifth quarterback in four years, but the man in the middle will remain the same. That was the weird, that was the weirdest thing I've ever been a part of. What was that realization like? I'm in the NFL right now. I really enjoyed that one, guys. I'm not sure about you. But uh, it's not often a center comes across our screen on this top 100 list, so, so you've got to appreciate them when they do. And uh, I certainly appreciate Ryan Kelly.
But I'm led to believe we do still have one Colts offensive lineman to go on the list, and that's Quentin Nelson. That's his mate that we saw there before discussing plays on the on the iPad. And uh, look, if we're talking about scary-looking linemen, Quentin Nelson's one of those. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been an absolute pleasure. We are officially in the top 70, which is a good feeling. In the next video, we're focusing on a running back, which is an even better feeling. His name's Josh Jacobs, and he plays for the Raiders. So stay tuned, guys. If you have enjoyed this one, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. There's plenty more content to come. And I will see you in the next one to check out Mr. Jacobs. Should be good. Peace out.